It's just sort of uh, necessity, you know? There's just sort of a point where doing the characters is just, uh, just sort of getting boring, it's getting repetitive. There's only so much to do with it, and then I started exploring, like, sort of building things around the character, and then that just sort of naturally took over. So once that bridge was created, it just sort of, you know, jumped to the other side and it just progressed from there. So it's still around, and I don't know if or how it'll come back into the picture, but I think it's just something that had to happen. You know, I just try to let things happen organically, and that at the time was what needed to happen is a need to get away from it and do some other things. And then if it ever makes sense to sort of bring it back, then... Yeah, so he told me that the way you did your paintings was like you used scotch tape and you basically painted around it and then just to go? Just with the big ones that we painted here. The large ones, yeah. Yeah, the little ones that I brought with me are all done without tape. It's all just hand done. Um, but because he only had a week or five days, really, mm -hmm. to make four big paintings, and also, too, when you have people helping them, they're not painters. Yeah. It's easiest to to do that, you know, to, to use house paint rollers and then tape it off, because then it becomes more mechanical yeah, than, than creative. Yeah, it's a technique, yeah. Yeah, because then it's easy for anyone to just put the tape down on the lines and then fill it in and peel the tape. It makes it easy when you can sort of build something that other people can get involved in and start to take over the process. You know, it becomes a simple process that just sort of unfolds as it goes. And I don't have to sit there and like micromanage what's going on. And then we just color code everything oh, okay. with numbers. So I just write the numbers in areas and then they know just to tape it. Like the kids game they have when they like make animals and stuff and you just color the color the tip. Yeah, like yeah. Two is yellow and you just do yellow. Yeah, exactly. That's amazing. So it's, it's good. I mean, it's a fun process because it gets everyone more involved and it's better for me too, you know. Yeah, it's fine by me. I mean, obviously everyone has different opinions, but yeah. I mean, it's been going on long enough. Obviously, this happened in the 80s, so it's been going on for a while. Yeah, 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 it's been
with Mike is that's all his work is his black line, you know, and that's sort of illustrative element of, of you know the power of that black line that makes everything you know cohesive in his work. Yeah, and it's the same in mine. If you, if you don't see it in the process, but what really creates the composition defines everything is the black line and, and, and the black fill and all that. That's what gives it its depth. It gets all the colors to pop. It brings everything together. So in that sense, I think, you know, there's a real parallel, you know, in how the work's executed. I mean, Mike's work, again, is, is real clean. It's the same concept, just his is very sort of figurative and, you know, mine is more abstract. Do you connect tattoo art with like paintings? Do you visit a link there? Or do you? Uh... So obviously, there's a lot of painters that also do tattoos and things like yeah, this. Like it's this. all yeah, it's all a real small community. So it's it's not a surprise. I, mean, I started getting tattooed long before I ever started painting. You really? Know? At what age? Do you remember? Eighteen. Yeah. As soon as I turned eighteen, I got my first tattoo. So. And you get both arms and both legs like fully covered. Yeah, no, I do. I think it's just uh, they always represented like sort of marking points in the journey, you know. So that's the thing. I mean, they don't all represent good things, but at the same time, they're markers of, of you know, sort of surviving task, if you will. Mm. You know, moving through things and, and, and you know milestones in life and stuff. So you know, it's like a roadmap. Mm. I feel like getting one right now. <laughs> <laughs> So can you talk to us about sneakers a bit, like your favorite ones, or I don't know. I mean, I'm not that big of an addict. I like them, but the thing I like about sneakers is, is uh, usually like colors, you know, mm -hmm. like certain colorways, and then um, things like that. I mean, generally, I only like to wear Nikes, so I mean, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Huh? I get to the colors on that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I like all black sneakers. We were having this, we went and looking for sneakers yesterday, but I like to, to usually when I, only when I wear shorts. Mm -hmm. so I don't like, it's like weird to have bright colored sneakers on with long pants for me. So when I wear shorts, I'll wear, I'll wear them. Okay. So I have, I don't know, maybe, you know, a hundred pair of sneakers, but I only wear them in the summertime. Oh, okay. And then the rest of the time, I just, wear, ones I just wear these ones or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You are not interested to do your, your own model uh, for your own sneakers? You do? You, do, you, you are already doing that uh, with your Nike or that? I mean, I've done some little, like the Kid Robot ones, stuff like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But, um, but no, I mean, I go on Nike ID sometimes and, and make my own. <laughs> yeah, they aren't on. They need more colors on there, though. I know. They need to have a wider color palette. Like they really, uh, they need to expand on the idea. I only have like three color outsoles, or like you know, twelve different colors, and it's not. Uh, this doesn't make combinations you can do with that. I mean, not really. Oh, no, it's kind of boring. But I mean, it's a good idea. But they should really, you know. I mean, every color that they manufacture, they should make available. You yeah. Know? You know, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, because obviously they have the, the capacity to do it, mm. so why not just do it? Just do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, their whole, that's their whole logo, right? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much, mm -hmm. really.